Hi, my name's Marjorie, and this is the Carriage House at the Little Compton Historical Society. The Carriage House is original to the property. It was built by the Wilbur family in the first part of the 19th century, and we have a photograph from about 1860, 1870 that shows the Carriage House in this location. And just like its name implies, it would have been a place where the Wilbur family would have been able to store their carriages. Today we display a variety of carriages here. Let's go ahead and take a look. So it's a little dark in here, but I hope you can see this first carriage. Um, and the carriages, many of them were um, restored in the 1970s. Um, and I believe Jack Nelson, a neighbor and a volunteer, was really involved in that effort. So this black carriage um, is called a covered wagon. And not like the covered wagons that we would have uh, you know, heading out to the prairie and Little House on the Prairie, but this would be a New England covered wagon, a very typical farm family wagon, sort of the minivan of the 19th century. Here we have a two-seater carriage that's a little more elegant. Um, this might be something that would have been owned by a doctor who needed to get to his um, patients uh, quickly. What I think is sort of wonderful is that there were children's versions of many of these carriages that could be pulled by a nursemaid, or we see lots of pictures of um, families attaching these small carriages to goats or dogs. We have a small sleigh for a child. And then we have an, um, a two-person open sleigh. And we know that the last time that sleigh was used was to bring home a soldier uh, from World War I at the Tiverton train station. There's an upstairs to the carriage house. That's an open workshop. Um, and again, we use it for storage, but it would have been a great uh, work area um, or in a pinch, even sleeping quarters for workers on the farm.